is my uh, kitchen that I'm remodeling. You can see there is no cabinet here. There's a water pipe here and a sewage pipe and water source. And here is my range and the cabinet, new cabinet I purchased and to put here. But behind this wall there is a cable for the garbage disposal. Okay, and I just want to show you how I'm going to actually put outlet for the garbage disposal. And this outlet has to be metal because of uh, the water activity or the water environment next to it. So it should be metal, even though some people put plastic. So just let you know that uh, plastic you cannot ground it and that's very important for your own safety. This is the metal box I'm going to use. As you can see here, I just purchased it from Home Depot. And what nice thing is, there is a handle here that what's going to happen is when you're going to close them, they will be tight. See here? They're tied themselves to the driver here, and the other one is here. Okay? So that's one thing. So. It's also a metal, and in order to connect this uh, wire, I have to actually knock down this piece of metal here, okay, and use a conduit for this cable. All the thing I'm using here, that's because this is a metal I can ground it. Here is the screw to be here. You can see there is also a space for the screw. Okay, there is three of them, but I can use one of them. So that's what I want to show you today. So what I did now, I actually just mark, I put a signature of this box as you can see here, exactly where I need to cut here. Okay, I just mark it. Okay, because I know that the cable is here because I left it here behind it. So what I need to do now, I need to cut it. Okay, uh, with a dremel or with a knife, and after I'm cutting it, I'm going to install this outlet box. Show you how to install it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to use this Dremel, okay, Dremel tools to cut this rectangle here. I just want to tell you this, this is a, this is drywall, is a fiberglass drywall, it's by far stronger than the drywall that you know. So just, I can actually remove it now, quite easily. That's the piece, as you can see, this is a, a fiberglass sheet wrap, that uh, resistance more than mildew. That's what you really need to put in a kitchen. Uh, or if, you put, if you want to put tiles here, also you can use this fiberglass, it's very strong, uh, stronger even than uh, concrete sometimes. Okay, so what we need to do now is to just take the wire, here is the wire, you see? So here's the wire that is for the uh, garbage disposal, and now we're going to install it. So before they connect it, I have to remove this piece of metal here and I can actually use a conduit. Okay, so So you can see it it's a bit tricky but you need to play with it a little bit. Okay, so I just want to show you here is the culprit here, okay, and you just put it and put it and put it again and that's what you have here. As you can see, this piece of metal, you have to throw it and here we're going to put a conduit that through it is going to have to go, this cable going to go through it. Okay, so this is the box, okay, here is the hole in the box. This is a conduit. The conduit comes with a washer. You see, this is the washer. Okay. 
So this is the washer. You can see how the washer going in. I'm removing the washer out. What I'm doing here, I'm actually putting it inside here. Insert the conduit inside the hole and I put the washer. Here's the washer in. Okay, and then I'm going to close. Difficult to see, but let me show you very soon. To show you from close proximity, you can see what I'm doing here. There is a washer here. You can see it here. That's the washer, and I'm just close it. And guess what? I'm going to use a flyer here to just firmly attach it to the box here. And that's the way it looks from here. Here I'm going to put the cable here. You can see here. I'm going to put the cable. It's going to go through the conduit. The conduit will protect the cable and will also don't let the cable move. It will attach the cable properly. The cable will go from here, coming inside here, and we connect here to the to the outlet. Okay, so here's the cable, you can see 99% there is no potential or voltage of power on it. I already disconnected the power, but just to make sure, I have here a voltmeter. Okay, that's the voltmeter, and I check, in the voltmeter I check the, the power between the ground, okay, and the power should be 120. If there is power, there is no 120 here. So I can touch it, no problem, no problem whatsoever. So now we can actually start working and complete the job. Okay, so you see, this is the conduit here. The cable comes from up, okay? So this is the cable, okay, you can see it here. And I just push it inside to the conduit, okay? And I need to be careful from this but screw you, okay, because they will interrupt the work, so we just put them back to the position, okay, and just starting to pull it, and after we pull it, okay, so you can see the cable is already in, here's the cable, it's inside, it's inside already the box, and now what we have to do, we just need to put the box inside, and we need first to attach this screw strongly okay that this screw here that you can see will be attached properly to attach the cable here and we can actually start them to connect the outlet okay so here is the box and we don't really need this all this long cable we can actually be very good with a little bit of it okay I think until here it's maybe it's that little bit here so that's why it's okay if we, for me, you know, maybe two, three inch out of the box. The most important here is to just take this cable, this screw here, okay, and just drive it with a screwdriver here, one and two. See what I did? I really tight it strongly. Tight. That's it. Okay, so what we need to do now, we need to connect somehow the ground here, it has to be connected uh, to the ground here, and I just want to show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so I want to show you something here, okay? This box really I purchased for the ground, okay? So there is, there is here a special uh, hole for ground. It's actually also saying inside, if you look inside it, i just put that one on here, okay? If you look inside here, you will see it say ground, okay? Okay, but it's really difficult for me to put those screws, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something else, something out of, of uh, the nature, okay? I can put it actually here if I want, but you see here, I'm going to put it here, the screw. I'm going to screw it here. You see? Okay, so I'm going to screw it here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a copper wire going from here 
let me show you to this hole here to the ground so I want to show you what I'm doing here because it's really tricky to put the screw there let me show you so here I have a leftover cable that I really don't need okay you can see that's the ground I'm going to cut the ground probably uh, this kind of uh, you know this length here okay and I'm going to use this cable as a ground to ground really what I want to do I want to ground the box it's very important because that's why we bought this this box you know to ground it if there is any water on it or some other moisture the risk situation happen develop on the box it will be grounded it will save your life okay so this is the couple that I just cut okay to take it here I'm going to put it inside here okay and I'm going to make a loop see loop around around this screw see here I'm going to actually loop it to show you how I'm doing it because it's a bit tricky here okay I'm here and what I'm going to do I'm going to loop it around this screw with the clock it's very important it's going to be with the clock remember because when we close the screw it will attach it properly okay here and here I'm going to actually just make stronger okay so here I just attach it a bit stronger here this loop okay so you can see the loop is already around this screw here and I'm going to drive this screw with a screwdriver here okay and I want to close it as tight as I can okay so that's it and now we have this wire okay that's another wire it will be connected to this wire eventually okay this ground and this ground will connect it also to the outlet so everything going to be grounded here okay so before we continue we just want to check to see okay here is the voltmeter okay just to make sure that the ground okay is really connected to the box so i'll just put put one and touch the second one here and i have to see zero and guess what it's zero so that's good so it's meaning that this cable this wire is connected to connected to the box here so we can actually use it to ground the box i just want to add that i actually have to put this conduit here and remove this uh, uh, what is called this piece of metal here that was here and not here i did before here it was a mistake because the box could not go in so you have to really put it in the back of the box okay it's always going to be easy for you to do it so i have to repeat it again and uh, just uh, put it here on the back of the box that is better uh, so learn from my mistakes and don't do these mistakes if you're using a box Okay, like I use, just put it in the back, you avoid a lot of problems. Really attach it strong, you don't want this wire to move. And now what we can do, we can start pushing it. See, there's no problem to start pushing it here. So we still want to have some kind of adjustment in the box, you can see here. It doesn't go up and there is another another place let me show you in close proximity what i have here okay so this box if you want to really pull it so you can see what i'm doing i'm trying to push it in but it won't go easily because here you have a screw that you have to address and from the other place the same thing as you see here the screw is here so i already marked it you can see i mark here one mark here and the other mark here Okay, here let me show you that mark and I have to make an adjustment here a little bit in here and just with a knife and uh, to put it in and that's going to work properly so I'm using a knife here just a little bit to remove removing a drywall from the two directions 
from here and from here. It's very easy to do. I to do a little bit of adjustment here, as you can see here. Okay, here the adjustment one, two, and here a little bit, and here a little bit. Okay, we trim a little bit, and the sheet work. Remember the difficulty here that the sheet work, this sheet work is the, it's a fiber, fiberglass sheet work, so it's very tough, uh, it's strong and robust, you know. Uh, that's for kitchen. To avoid more than middle, and you can actually put here tile, whatever you want. So here it is, and it's actually going now perfectly in. So what I want to show is from close proximity what's going on. So you can see this screw, one of them already in, and here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to apply, I'm going to use here a dr driller here. To, by drive this uh, screw, as you can see here, using a a drill here to attach these screws to the drywall. Okay, let me show you how I'm doing it. Here is the driller here, okay? So what I have to do, I have to just push it here like this and start in drill with the clock, remember, very important. already been inside. So we have to remove it a little bit here, okay. Let's try the other one. So you can see that one going inside perfectly. This one I have to really remove a little bit. It's so strong. So I just want to give it Okay, so this one a little bit here. Okay, so we really finish it here to attach the box. As you can see here, there is the ground cable that we put. There is the ground that come from the electrical box or the electrical panel. Okay, then both of them have to be connected together. Okay, that's very important. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually attach the power, but I just want to show you from close proximity how this box looks like. If you look at it here, you can see the way it looks. It really firmly attached to this wall. Here is the cable that I have, the ground cable that I put, and here is the ground cable that comes from the electrical box. All of them have to be connected together, remember. For the ground, we have two wires here, you can see. One and two. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking one wire here, and I'm just going to chain them together, okay? Which means they're going to be like one wire now. Okay, why I'm doing it? Because I want to use only one wire in order to put it in a screw. So here it is, here's the wire. I'm just going to put it like this. Real tight, you know, to make sure there is contact, and there is a contact here, by far more than you can think. Okay, so taking these, I'm taking now, you see, this is the outlet, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, I'm going to put a loop here. Okay, the loop going to be with the clock, and then I'm going to close it tightly. Show you here. The clock, and I'm just going to make a loop here. I'm not going to close it yet because I have to connect here. You see the, the screw here? You see here what I'm doing? So I'm just open the screw a little bit here, and I'm going to push it in. The wall. See the loop? I'm going to push it in. Okay, it's in now. I'm just going to close it really tight. I'm going to use the screwdriver again just to tight it with a clock. I'm really going to use like quite a power here. Now remember, 
that's the way it should look like. Okay, so here it is, you have a ground heel that connected, and you need to connect these two wires now, the neutral and the hot. I want to make sure that this cable is connected properly. Okay, it's good. Okay, I'm just going to check to see if these two cables are connected. I'm just going to use the ohm meter to verify it. Okay, so I'm using the voltmeter here, the ohm meter actually, to check between the wire and the metal here, and as you can see, it's zero. So the ground is connected properly, no problem whatsoever. Okay, so now I'm going to connect the heart, and the heart has to go to the right side of this outlet, okay, always. So I'm going to here, and I'm again making the loop, okay, with the clock. Okay, so here I make, I have a loop here, you can see, that's the loop, and I'll actually take the loop here, and I'm going to pull it around the screw here, okay. So here's the screw, and it's, it's not open enough. Let me open it. Okay, so now maybe I will be successful. Yeah. Okay, so after it's in, I just want to really uh, close the loop tight as I must. Okay, the loop is closed. And Just attach it to the screw properly. Okay, so the art is connected. Okay, one, one is gone. And now the neutral here has to go here. Open it. And again, make the loop with the clock. is not exactly closed, I will close it here. Okay, so I'm going to close it around the screw. Okay, it's closed. And I'm going to tighten it. By hook or by crook? So as I told you, we need to close it by hook or by crook. Okay, so... Excellent, it's actually closed perfectly. So I want to show you from close proximity the way it looks like, that you will agree with me. Okay, so if you look at it carefully here, you can see how nicely it's closed. And the only thing I want to check now, I want to see the ground, if the ground, if this is ground with this, very important to check it, okay? Uh, after uh, we insert everything properly in, just to make sure, okay? Okay, so in order to check it, what I'm doing here, Taking this voltmeter, okay, I make it ohm meter. Okay, here is ohm meter, here you can see. Okay, I will hold it in my hand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one inside the ground here and one in the metal here and we need to see zero. As you can see, it's zero. Here, so one second. Zero. So actually, the box here is grounded properly. So we need to continue now uh, just connecting the electricity and check to see if there is power in this outlook. So I just connected the electricity and what I want to show you now is I need to flip this switch on, okay, because this is a garbage disposal and that's the way you turn it on and off, okay. And here is the outlet as you can see. 
Okay, so what I want to do here, I want to just check to see if there is power. I remember, I'm going to put it on, I'm going to put this on 200 volt AC, okay? Uh, using these two uh, lead, okay? It doesn't matter what size here, because it's AC. I'm just going to put one in the neutral and the other one I'm going to insert it in the power as you can see 124.3 volt okay that's perfect now just make sure that really the hat is here so I'm going to check between the hat and the ground I'm going to put it in the ground and I'm going to put it in the hat and I have to see okay let me just put it nicely 124.4 volt as, as it should okay and between the neutral and the ground should be nothing and really nothing okay so it's worked perfectly uh, and the last thing is we need to put here a cover i have a plastic cover but that's not the cover we need we need here a really metal cover remember everything here is about ground okay a plastic cover cannot be grounded okay so only a metal cover will ground it so i'm going to have a metal cover to so that is the metal cover that I purchased from Home Depot. It cost me 70 cents, okay? But I'm going to put it here, okay? So really, all the job, all the work here was for, remember, the ground here. And you just need to tighten it properly. Okay, so now, the job is finished really and I can show you from close proximity the way it look. That's the way it, it's, it's look from here. And remember here, I cut a little bit more that I really need. You can actually correct it with a compound. And here it's actually perfect, it's no problem. The way it look and we're going to use it safely with no problem when we're going to connect the garbage disposal to it.